What's up, everybody? It's me again, Pop Culture Junkie here. Thank you for tuning in. We're checking out our first unboxing for the month of November. That's right, November's already here. And it is one of my favorites, Video Game Monthly. What is Video Games Monthly? Obviously, something to do with games. If you haven't seen my videos yet, let me tell you. It is a monthly video game subscription box. That's... But these are retro video games. Uh, in other words, they are classic Nintendo, Sega... Uh, GameCube, PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, all types of classic games from the last 20, 30 years now almost. Uh, they even recently started including uh, some Atari games, I believe, uh, as well. So you have that op that option coming out. Uh, and of course you have Game Boy, handheld games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Uh, I believe they may even have Game Gear. You gotta check that out. But uh, I've been getting their boxes steady for several months. I had to skip last month uh, because we were getting a lot of boxes in to do with uh, Halloween and I had to unfortunately sacrifice my video game box that month so that I could get a different box and uh, hey November's here we're going to start up with video game monthly again let's go ahead and open it up and uh, let's see here we got oh look at that we got two up so congratulations you have received two free games Thank you for being a Video Game Monthly subscriber. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. And then they always include a little card here to say, we hope you enjoy your box. Please update your library on the website. That's right. Go to their website, and you can put your whole game library in there. That way you don't get doubles and uh, games you don't already, you know, games you already have, you don't worry about getting them again. You get to choose which game sy uh, systems you want games for. Okay, so we know there will be six games in here. Let's check them out. Uh, let's see. We got our first game here. Our first game is Lagoon, uh, and I remember this was on Super Nintendo, uh, but this is the this is the Super Famicom version. Uh, that's another really great thing I like about I like about this uh, box is you'll get games that maybe are hard to find on Super Nintendo, but they'll find the Famicom edition of it, which is the same game, uh, and it's really uh, you know, it's great because you can get a game you may not be able to find anywhere else uh, or for uh, certain prices. So, Lagoon is our first game, and I remember this is an RPG. Uh, I haven't played this one, but I do remember that one. Okay, we got have another Famicom game, and this is oh, nice. Okay, this is one of the greatest Super Nintendo games I know from what a lot of people say. I've never played it, though, because I have never been able to find a copy, and when I have seen one, they go for ridiculous prices. But I have now the Famicom version of it, and it's Chrono Trigger. Okay, I wasn't. I would never expect to get Chrono Trigger in on the Super Nintendo in this box. Uh, if that happens, awesome. But uh, now I get to finally play this game. Excellent. So that is a nice win. I can see what all the hype has been because people all over are saying, "Oh, that's one of the greatest games." But I've never played. It. Uh, let's see. We have oh oh. This is awesome now. Oh my gosh, all right, this is really cool. Uh, we've got a brand new, in the shrink wrap, Dreamcast. That's right, Sega Dreamcast. I still have my Dreamcast. I love my Dreamcast. And it is South Park Chef's Love Shack. Are you, are you kidding me? Brand new in the shrink wrap. That is awesome. I'm a, I'm a huge South Park fan. I love South Park. Loved it ever since it started. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is brand new. And the shrink wrap. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Okay. Got, uh, oh, look, they put a little trinket in here. They always put a little something. And this is a, uh, oh, it's a Nintendo Rubik's Cube. Uh, yeah, puzzle cube, they're calling it. But you got little Mario characters all around it. All right. That's cool. Oh, wow. We have, uh, we've got some box games, uh, more boxed games. Uh, we have a PlayStation 2. Uh, this, we have one of the greatest PlayStation 2 games ever made. Grand Theft Auto 3. Okay, awesome. So this is where it all started. I mean, there was Grand Theft Auto 1. There was Grand Theft Auto 2 that came out on the PlayStation. Dreamcast. Uh, a lot of people don't you know, remember those, probably. Uh, a lot of people just know about Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5 from the last recent ones and such. Uh, but Grand Theft Auto 3, this was a you know huge, huge game on the PlayStation 2. Uh, this is what made me buy a PlayStation 2. 
I held off forever to buy a PlayStation 2. I was all about my Dreamcast. And then this came out, and SmackDown, the first SmackDown on, uh, uh, yeah, Just Bring It came out on PlayStation 2, and I was like, I, I have to buy these, so I have to get the uh, PlayStation 2 finally. But yeah, this is really cool, and it includes the disc, the booklet, and it even has the poster and map. That, that was always one of my favorite things on uh, the Grand Theft Auto games, was getting the posters with the uh, full map there. Awesome. Uh, now I have a spare because I still have my original copy of uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 with the poster and everything, but now I can frame one of these. That would be really nice. All right. Excellent. Hey, like I said, I already have it, and that's fine. You might get that sometimes, but hey, this is awesome. This is an awesome game. All right. Next in the box, we have... Interesting. We got PlayStation 2 in the case again. Uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, Budokai Ten. Tenkachi? Am I saying that right? I hope I'm saying that right. Tenkachi, I believe. I'm sure I have a couple of friends watching that are going to be correcting me on that. Uh, so, uh, it's a uh, fighting game. So, Ultimate Dragon, the Ultimate Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT fighting game. Alright, that's going to be fun. I never played any of the Dragon Ball Z games. So, that will be fun. Alright. And our final game is a, a GameCube game. So we got a really good variety. We got Famicom, we got PlayStation 2, we got Dreamcast. Now we have GameCube. It is uh, Bionicle. Hey, all right. Uh, this one is a uh, kind of an adventure game, looks like. Yeah, you get to battle the forces of evil, uh, ride vehicles, and battle enemies in different settings and locations and such. Uh, I only know of Bionicle, actually, because of the Lego uh figures. I know there's a cartoon that came out as well, but uh, I've never played the Bionicle video game, so that's going to be fun. Uh, excellent. And yes, I do have my GameCube. <laughs> Alright, so let's do a quick rundown. Let's see here. We've got six games and a little toy. And our games include we got Lagoon on Super Famicom. We've got South Park Chef's Love Shack, brand new from Sega Dreamcast. Awesome. That, that's the winner right there. That's worth the value of the box alone, in my opinion. We've got Super Famicom Chrono Trigger, which I've never played Chrono Trigger ever, and I get to finally. we got a PlayStation 2 copy of Grand Theft Auto, complete with a disc, poster, and manual. We have a Nintendo GameCube uh, Bionicle, just the case in the game, but still excellent. And then last but not least, we have PlayStation 2 Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkachi. I hope I again am saying that right. And I didn't show it before, but yes, it does have the booklet and the disc. Okay, so uh, there you have it. That is uh, my November 2016 Video Game Monthly subscription box. Uh, I love it. I'm going to definitely uh, keep getting boxes from these guys. They have not disappointed me at all, uh, ever. I've gotten some really cool games, and they're awesome. And they're ones I've been looking for. I've been looking for Chef's Love Shack for the longest on... Uh, Nintendo 64, but to get it on the Dreamcast is even better. Better graphics, better play, everything. So, excellent. Okay, so what do you guys think? Girls, guys, everyone that's watching, what do you think? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the unboxing. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, so you can check out all my previous unboxings of video game related items and others. Uh, make sure you can also check it out in the description. I got a special announcement to add in here real quick. I just now finally secured a P.O. Box. I've had a few people send me messages and comments asking me, hey, is there any way I can send you something? Maybe they want to have me unbox something on camera or they want to just in general send me something uh, because of what they saw in a video and they thought, hey, you might want this or something. I don't know. Uh, but just saying it out, I mean, no one out there has to send me anything at all. You're not under any obligation. I love doing these unboxings uh, for everyone that watches. Uh, I just have a blast doing them. Uh, but if you would like to send me something, there is a P.O. Box address in the description. Uh, feel free. And who knows, if you send me something, there's always a possible chance I might send you something really cool back. Okay? So I'm just throwing that out there. Letting everyone know that it's now available. I've had, like I said, I've had people ask me, is there any way to send you something? And now we have a P.O. Box. And there you go. Uh, also, there are a few other YouTubers that I have... Uh, been in discussion with uh, on live streams and messaging and through other 
social media about doing uh, exchanges as far as like doing an unboxing exchange. If you are another YouTuber watching and you're interested in doing something like that with me, please go ahead and uh, comment or message me. You can always reach me through uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And let me know uh, if you're interested in doing something like that. We can uh, get together on that and uh, you know try to do a exchange video or something. All right, that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, I've got some other people already in talks that we're going to be doing that. So if you want to be in that as well or join in with that and uh, do some more exchanging, let me know. All right, everyone. I thank you again for your time as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you all next time. And you know it. I will be unboxing many more boxes and other cool items over the next several weeks. So, so stay tuned for that. Thank you everyone for watching. Pop Culture Junkie, signing out.